Hey, Nagy, to show up and te tell us about the uh, world of LEDs, the world of LEDs. This will be an LED tutorial. LEDs come in all sizes and shapes, and we happen to have a, a particular kind of LED that we're using in our tiny homes. This, this is the uh, LED we're using. It's, it's, it's basically an 1141 equivalent 12 volt LED like they use in campers. And this particular one has five rows of three around here. See, so yeah, it's five rows of three. Inviting in. There we go. Anyway, it has, so it has 15 LEDs around here. 15 LEDs. See, 15 of those. But then it also has three more LEDs here. Okay. So this is our basic unit here. And we're live now on uh, Google Hangouts. Okay. We have Robert J. Nagy of Hot Springs. In the house. Well, I'm well, I'm getting a beacon on 10 meters from uh, Lampasas over here, full strength, which means 10 meters is wide open between you and I. Well, after the hangout, we'll uh, okay, get on I 10 got, meters. Got, I was Bob. telling you, very odd conditions. Today. So, what we were discussing is Bob has a really clever idea for turning these old Trek bottles with the carabiners and the snap lids into a uh, hanging light. So tell us about all about LEDs. <laughs> light emitting diodes was invented by Yuri Gajmalkov in the Magnetogorsk, Russia in 1845. No, it's, um, it's uh, you know, I like, look at this little peel and stick tape here. Peel and stick LED tape. Out of peel focus, out of focus, out of focus. I don't know, I know, I'm just trying to focus. I put my hand up here, it'll focus. There it is. There we go. There anyway, is. peel and stick. Oh, very nice. 12 volt comes with leads right at the end. 15 feet, 17 feet, it's like four dollars delivered from China. 28.35 is the smaller versions, and the 50.50s are the large. So if you want to closer, closer, closer. Yeah, if you want uh, the brightest ones, get 50.50s. Uh, Google 50 /50. 300 LED 50.50s, and you know, come up with these rolls in different colors. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Peel and stick. 12 volts. You can cut the stuff. Every three LEDs, you can cut it. So that's very useful for sconce lighting, like in back of you up on the uh, thing. That's an automotive style lamp, like a brake light, and those are commonly used. They're, they're low reliability, and they, do, they don't seem to last very long for some reason. They're just not constructed high quality. But you can use those too, so if you need a base to screw it into. If you do, you can stick them in old pickle jars, whatever you want, hang them from the ceiling, take energy drink jars, you know, mount them out in the cap, screw it in there, scoop it up and some moment and our idea was right. these old trek these bottles old trek bottle. yeah. you got a ton of those that's what he has put it, put put it down, down put it here, here yeah and then put a wire put a wire over here, here. Yeah. And, and you put the bulb these mount. Like trees and that or hang them from the ceiling yeah you put the bulb mount inside the cap inside so the, the cap, cap. The bulb, oh, yeah so it's a, the bulb mount is mounted inside the cap when you screw it off, so the bulb is hanging out underneath. Yeah. Oh, so you put and so the cylindrical part up through the plastic? No, you don't. You take the no. cap off and you get the bulb mount and you screw it to the flat side of the of the lid in there. And then you just put a shit in and there you're done. Then it's sticking down to the can. Then you can paint the can with light colored, you know, transparent paint of any color. You can scuff it up with sandpaper to make it a bezel, like a milky bezel. You could literally construct bezels out of um, old milk bottle plastic and use a hair blower to melt it into shape. You can bend it in any shape you want. I Show do us an old time. milk bottle, Bob. Do you have an old milk yeah, bottle there that you could demo that well, with? Well, no, but I mean, for, for drones, when you want to cover the electronics, you just take a piece of that plastic. This was actually a, a VHS cassette uh, box, and I just cut it with you know scissors, and then I just use a hair blower to melt, make it soft and then belt it, bend it into any shape you want. Yeah. Light that baby up, man. You're not just going to show it to us without lighting it up. You should never light. You should never fire it up without the transmitter going. Otherwise, this thing could take off on its own accord and scrape my eyes out. Look at that! Look at that! 
Hold it, hold it still for a moment so we can marvel at the 35 mile an hour racer, man. These are the 250 racers where it's all about these days. Cool, man. Finish this one yesterday. And that is, that is uh, DIY. You DIY that together. Yeah, yeah, right. It's all little pieces, you know. And then I, I put two of them together yesterday because I got a, teaching a course coming up. And this is a 350. And this has some pretty nice LEDs, not as nice as the other one, you know. Please don't take off on me here. So what you want to do is you put your LED tape in the front red and your white in the back or whatever colors you want. Then you need some electric LEDs up in the top. You want some, you know, glow going on up there. Uh, I'll show you some very cool LED rings. You could, you could uh, figure out a way to uh, hang that from the ceiling and use that as a light when you're not using it as a well, That could be a ceiling fan too. Just turn the motors on. Yeah, make it a ceiling fan. <laughs> <laughs> Here's some uh, <laughs> some LED rings that just came in. are nice. They're programmable. Uh, you get the software in GitHub, and basically they go through all kind of rotating color patterns, whatever you want to put in there. And these, you know, you can mount these anywhere you want, solid color, whatever. This would also make a nice little area light. They're about five Excellent. bucks. But this is for decoration, you know, because it's got the programming cables here. What is that called, the technical term for that light? Well, LED ring. This would be a part for drones. So you yeah. go to a drone supply place, put an you LED ring. You could use it for a non-drone application. Yeah, you could just have it have a solid color. It's got a whole bunch of 50-50s. Those are the larger LEDs, the 50-50s yeah. on there. And, uh, but the hats, you're out of, you're, you're, solid, you're, you're uh, consistently out of focus. Oh, well, well at least I'm consistent. <laughs> That's not up focus. You got to either put it closer or farther away. You're at the exact no, right focus yes. point. Hey, All right, show us something else. LED wise. I'm going to test this remote right now. Ah, I see. It. The, I'm testing this remote, and it is dead because. Oh no! There's a little. See, it's see that? Alive. Yeah. It's yeah. alive. Look at that. Because this uh, camera can see IR, and we can't see IR. All right, that's cute. Now show us some really cool LEDs, okay? That was a cute yeah. trick, Bob. Oh, yeah, whatever. Well, this is uh, <laughs> something that usually blinds people here. These are that 10 watt. Uh, did I show you the 10 watt? This is, this is what I spend really color on. Anyway, I use a lot of 10 watt LEDs. That's, that's these. Now, there, uh, you've got, now you've got something. If you could only get it in focus, Bob. You well, you, get you, it that's in focus now, Brodsky. That's focused. Okay, sort of, yeah. Yeah, that's in focus, in total focus. I can tell. Bring it, bring it closer. Bring it closer. Let's see well, what happens. I don't think, okay, hold on. It, it'll focus up. Yeah, that is way better. You should always show things off at that distance, man. That is like yeah, these perfect. Were, that's yeah, perfect. These were, about, these were about seven bucks with a heat sink. Now they're much, much less. And these are 10 watt soft white LEDs. You can make it into a little, you know, made a little flashlight with a box what and a battery. The, what is the search word for that device you just showed us? 10 watt LED. It's got to be with heat sink, though. No. Now, if you go to eBay and put a 10 watt LED, you'll see this exact form factor. 10 watt LED. Okay, gotcha. Exact form, but you got to get a heat sink. What, you can make be, what would be the ultimate lighting system for a tiny house? If you, if you, somebody said, Bob, I've got a gun to your head. And you're gonna you're gonna be exiled to Siberia, and you're gonna have to live in the tiny house the rest of your days. What would you okay. bring with you to? Okay, you Jack. You could have any LED setup you wanted. <laughs> I would have a combination of two things. In a 200 square foot tiny house, I would use three of these 10 watt LEDs. Here's one with a piece of the milk crate, you know, milk carton in front of it, just bent over the heat sink and a battery inside, and it is like severely bright. And so like, three of these would light up the whole interior off the top with a, with a nice diffusion bezel on it at a cost of about, uh, these are about, well, about seven watts drives them. Then I would use LED tape, 50-50 LED tape. What is the search term for that complete assembly? This is made handmade. There's no complete assembly. All you're going to search for is 10 watt LED with heat sink. Okay. And what about the base? This is a plastic box with a battery in it. Okay. Okay. There's no base on this. It's mounted on the heat sink. You can, and you can mount that on anything, screw it up into the ceiling, whatever you want to do, put a plastic bezel. You can put it in an existing light socket. In other words, go to the recycle place and buy some little fixture, light fixture, take right. the bulb, 
out of it, the bulb female part, unscrew the bulb assembly in there, and just screw that metal heat sink right into the into it. You know, drill a couple holes and make it, put it inside of an existing fixture. Oh yeah, yeah. that would, that would work. Then what I would do is I would put small molding around all of the edges of the tiny house and the rooms where it had a little lip, a hidden lip, you know, like a yeah. little lip, and put the paste on the glue on. Uh, peeling stick so you'd have bounce sconce lighting to bounce off the ceiling and give you ambient light cool so you could have cool. an ambient light evening level and then you could have a work light you know turn it on and blast it level so to you to you would order that uh, 10 watt led light yeah. and then i would order go on ebay search for 300 led 50 50 and you get rolls of the 50 50 led tape in whatever color you want i do suggest warm white for nice warm evenings and then cool white for like when you really want to blast the place up with light like outside or something like that what do you what do you think of i've seen on uh ebay and amazon i've seen these uh strings of colored lights attached to a solar cell and they're really cheap they're like 30, 11 dollars or something yeah, like yeah. that well, like it's shiny lights it might work for a part of a season yeah yeah a part of like Four months. That would be something life. if you wanted to get up immediately. You just needed some light, you know. Yeah, and it would. La it would. They should just put on a four months to landfill. Because Shay is Shay's working out with no electricity, no power. So she's yeah, well, got she to get it from a twelve volt battery. Well, she needs a basic setup. I mean, that's what I do all the time. I got uh, you know, I, I panels in the garage. You know, a couple of panels, a couple of car batteries, trolling she's batteries. Got a panel. She's got the panel. You know which panel because you've seen it. She's got that. We've got a real old controller on it, so we're she's starting. She's got it mounted already, but now we need to get it, add a battery to it, and then start distributing to all these LED lights. Yeah, yeah. You need you need to, you need to, you need the basic hookup. I mean, she's a good inverter, not a sh shitty inverter. You know, something that's high quality. Well, well this should be straight twelve volts. Well, the charge controller needs to be not crap either. Yeah. No, it's crap. You know, and those what we have is, is, is total crap. It's going to waste not mostly it, power. Not only is it crap, it's low-grade crap. Low-grade crap, CPOS brand? <laughs> um, well, <laughs> you know, for $15, you can get a Chinese clone charge controller that's MPPT and actually is freaking great. And then you, for, you know, stuff's cheap now. And then get a sine wave inverter, some quality. Now, remember, you're going to be in Siberia the rest of your life with whatever LED oh, setup you take with you. I answered the question successfully, man. What do you care? <laughs> and you would live with that for the rest of your life. Yeah, I, I, I'm tiny, living with LED lighting right now here. I got all freaking LED lighting. Tiny, a tiny 10 by 10 cabin in Siberia. This, I, I fabricate my own LED lights and I have my own track lighting up here. Here's, Metal, sheet metal made out of the sheet aluminum glued on the edge with JB weld, and then a couple of LEDs on the inside just mounted onto a piece of metal. Yeah, and can you, can look you at get this. it closer where it focuses? There's clips on it. Yeah, I just have There's, a resistor. It's out, of focus, resistor. Out, of focus, out of focus. I don't know why I'm getting it. There it is. Anyway, homemade, homemade LED light fixtures, and these are clamped onto homemade track lighting that is just, uh, what do you call it? It's just PVC tubing. And yeah. You know, like so, I put strip Romax out and put dowels going through the PVC tubing, and then what are uh, those like little alligator clips? Yeah, just alligator clips, and the copper wire stood off from the plastic with dowels. You know, oh yeah, with dowels. And like, those, those copper wires are are live. If you yeah, they're, live. they're twelve volt live wires coming right off the solar system for the for the uh, comp center here. You would get a shock if you touch those wires. <laughs> For the communication center. Do you know that today I sent a message to Strategic Air Command saying that they they had a problem with one of their transmitters? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Isn't that crazy? We'll see if they come back here. That is crazy. Yeah, they had a distorted signal on 11.175 today. I said, just want to tell you, you need to, you need to go in there and fix that. It's not good. Uh, So I'm teaching the uh, history of radio course in the fall at National Park College from Marconi to cell phones and everything in between. How everything works. How it was all right. discovered, invented, and works. I'm going to uh, share my uh, screen with you for a minute here. And we are going to go to look up uh, Amazon.com. 
Can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay. All right, we're on Amazon now. What do you need? Oh, I just want to show you some LED stuff. Hold on. Yeah. All right. That's the best place to look. All right, so uh, let's. What should I look for? LED ten watt? No, because they're not going to have it. You got to go to eBay. Really? Let's just see what. That's going to come. It's going to be Chinese. No, they won't have it. They'll have all prefabricated, all inside of housings. There's a, no, stop, 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 stop. See that? There's the ten watt LED chip right there without a heat shrink, without a heat sink. Those are dirt cheap these days, but I, I can do better than that. All right, let's go to eBay. Yeah, let's go to eBay. Ten pack for twelve bucks. You can get. You can beat that. You can go twice that. I mean, you get twenty four for twelve bucks. All right. So give me. Tell me what to search for. Ten watt. Ten warm watt. Up. Ten pack, ten watt equivalent LED, thirteen ninety nine. Yeah, go down. Look for what I was showing you. This is the ten watt LED on a heat sink. Yeah, they got a lot, a lot more manufactured stuff these days. That's it there, but it doesn't have a. And that's it there, heat sink. but yeah, you want the heat sink, you know. I better add yeah. heat sink. Yeah, we'll put it in with heat. What do they call those? Let's see. I put it in with heat sink. 900 LM. What's 900 LM? Lumen. Oh. That's, that's, that's more than a 60 watt bulb. 10 watt warm LED heat sink with heat sink. It's warm white. Warm white. Yeah, not, not warm. warm. Warm white. Yeah, like warm white people. Go ahead, enter. All right, what the heck we got here? Looks like I got some new form factors going on. You got all kind of crap to choose from. You know, you don't got to go with what I got. They got screw in, they got plug in, they got flat panel. Look at that one there. Oh, man. Look at this one. Looks like a radio control motor airplane airplane motor. That's so twenty dollars for one. Yeah, I know, but it's it's a twenty watt. Hold on, hold on. Okay, seven sixty. That's pretty. That's closer. They should have the ones I had for about five bucks. Those are the flashlight ones. Wow, those are all flashlight ones. I buy those. No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't come up, Bob. It's not it's like, on. Uh, I, mean, I bought that six months ago. Everything changes. But I, need a, I need a better search term. Uh, there's plenty to choose from there. Really, I mean, you could. I'll just do a ten watt LED heat sink. Yeah, you could do that. Okay, those are some fancy heat sinks right there. Yeah, not cheap. Heat sinks much I want better. LEDs and heat sinks together. Okay. Like you have, exactly what you have. Oh, I know, I know. It's just, Here's one here, 10 watt. It's got a lens, a driver, and everything else. That's made for like the super flashlight. You're making a 10 watt flashlight. Oh, that's not, that's not for a tiny home. Well, that would work fine for a house. What's this? Yeah, hold on, hold on. Uh, same thing. What's this? Hold on, I'll open it up. I mean, truth is, you can use you can use any piece of aluminum as a heat sink, or you can screw it right onto a metal light fixture. This has got the heat sink and the. Uh, yep, yep. Now that's made for three. That's three of them there. You see, there's mounts for three, three of them. Three, yeah. You cut it into three pieces, I believe. So fourteen bucks, and you get three lights. Yeah, but you, you do better than that. You can do better than that. You can just buy any kind of heat sink material and cut it up, make your own. Uh, take us a little slower, broski. My heat sinks were in, inefficient anyway, in, in, inadequate, inadequate. So 
Yeah, the aluminum costs more. If you find any piece of like aluminum mango line or anything, you can make your own. Here's you RGB. Know? RGB. Yeah, so that's what we looked at. Any right color you want. Okay, slow down. So it looks like it's seven bucks for the for a heat sink and a and a driver, and a lens if you want it. The lens may be uh, may you may want that assembly. Three of those for twenty bucks, twenty two dollars. It's still a pretty good deal. There's there's five one hundred pieces, three yep. watt LED star heat sink. White, blue, green, red, orange, UV, yeah. pink. These are flashlight size. Oh, okay. Now, what you want's right there, 759. Warm white, that's exactly it. So it's got the big ass heat sink. It's got a reflector and a bezel and a, and a lens. So if you want to, it's the whole fixture. And it has a voltage regulator. So it does it? Go down and take a look. Oh, that is a part of it. A list here of LED lights. What new list? A new list. I'm adding it to a new list on, on here. So right. Go down. Yeah, have a yeah, go down. Let's see what it is. Stop. Stop. Oh yeah, it has a built-in, uh, built-in driver. So that's a very good deal. So you can, you don't, you don't have to do anything. That's ready to rock. Yep, that's the one. <laughs> We only accept par pay payments. Par pay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have. What do I do? Because I don't have par pay. That's the Chinese PayPal. <laughs> par pay. Yeah. Oh wait a minute! Does it have a fan on it? Is that a fan? I don't think so. Come on, oh, that is, is a fan. Damn! The thing has a thermal fan too, in case it needs to cool itself off. Yeah, that's great. Way to go. It's got the voltage regulator, fan, and a whole assembly with lens. That's the deal. Yeah, three of those would light up a tiny house perfect inside. That's the equivalent of 60-watt lens, 60-watt bulb. You only going to get one? Yeah, to, to test it. Then if it works, we'll get two more. Okay. Oh, it'll work. I wonder how long it'll get here. Two and a half weeks. June 20th. Yeah. To July 11th. Yeah. No, these are the lights she needs for. We're on air. We're on the air. Door. That'll Even work. Instructional video. That'll work great. You can say something. Just it has to be relevant to the instructional purpose of this video. Well, I don't know the instructions. I don't know. It's about all about LED lights. Okay, I can go. Wonderful. Yeah. Dorothy still has those books on advanced sexual techniques. I would like to see. <laughs> I remember she. Right. Had Let me go back to. Uh, where I was, but I lost my train of thought there. All right, let me go back to, can you see my screen? Yep. Yeah, that was a very good deal. I might snag some of those myself. Very nice. All right, so we're gonna go back. We will try that out. If that works, we'll get more. Oh, it's gonna work. <laughs> it's gonna work. That's a very nice deal. Very nice. What we're getting. You gotta build that in hot, warm, high, white, high power LED, 10 watt driver, 90 degree, 50 millimeter lens with 10 watt heat. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that's great. That's like uh, it spreads the light out into 90 degrees. It mounts all together in one assembly so you can put it up in the ceiling. A voltage regulator included, bezel, whole thing. Very nice. Fan, I can't believe it. And we got all that for seven fifty nine. Yeah, so you got to be sure that the fan can move. Yeah, that's a swell, swell deal. That's perfect for the application. What's twenty three thirty? What the hell is that? Oh, that one's twenty three. Same, same thing. thing. No. Here's Looks one like you got the best deal. 750. This is the one I got. 759. Yeah, that's the best deal. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a good deal. Hello.
unknown. Hello. Yes. I'm doing good. Who, who is this? This is Sandy. You're Sandy, and you're calling me. Where are you calling from, Sandy? Where? I can barely make out what you're saying. All I know is your name is Sandy, and you don't have a very good uh, signal there. Can you send me a text message? Send me a text message because I don't understand what you're saying. So text me, okay? Thank you. I think that was the person who's shipping me the LED. I doubt it. Calling me from Taiwan. Could be. I didn't think it was. It could have been. Could have right, been. So. I believe that's who it was. All right, so I'm going to do a new search. Let's see, control L. Yeah, that's ideal. Okay, so 10 watt LED. I'm going to try uh, LED lights for a tiny home and see what it comes up with. Oh, thank you, my sweetheart. Seventy thousand, sixty-two thousand dollars for that box. Yeah, for a box. Okay. See what it's showing? It's showing those lights like I showed you. Yeah, they're nasty. But how do you mount those? Could we? Can we find a mount for those? I don't see a base for those. Okay, I'll try this. I'll try this. Base or. 11, 40, 1 bulbs for RV. It's showing me the bulbs. It's not these bulbs are the same thing except they've got plastic around them. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Now you just bought the perfect thing. Those bulbs suck. They suck. Yeah, they suck. I bought a lot of them. They, they last about two months. That's in car use, not even in continuous use. Man, there's no, they're not showing me any bases. Oh, and you can get those down to like 10 cents each or such crap. Look at these super brights. Yeah. No bases, though. Why, why is it not showing me bases? Because they're meant to go in a car. Like the base. They're meant to go in a car. Those are replacements for brake lights. I put socket. Socket. Or part eleven forty one bolts. There we go. There you go. There's a the socket. There's a socket. See. Socket to me. That would work in my. Uh, yeah. Sure. That would definitely work. Yeah. Get some of those. Because it's even got these things. It's got those things. Got those things. Let's see. Those are the things you want. And these have like plastic uh, harnesses. They're kind of pricey though. Yeah. Just it, all it is is a base. They're like. Oh, I'm, I am getting this guy is this two watt signal is ten over from Lampasas here. See, here's one dollar eighty. Yeah, that's what here's you one, want. Here's one, eight ninety nine for ten. Yeah, but they don't have the flange. Those that's oh. for hanging inside of. You can hang those inside of a jar. Well, see, I, that would work for my Trek. Yeah, for my yeah, Trek model. Yeah, it's perfect for the Trek model. So what I already have, that's what I already have. Then I'll just yeah. get some more of those and use those for the Trek model. Because the ones with okay. the brackets are way too expensive. These are like eighty nine cents each. 
The one okay. with the bracket is six bucks. Man, I got to get you on ten meters. I want to hear what kind of signal you got. All right. Do you want? Do you have uh, any more wisdom? No. To share on uh, LED lighting today. No, I want to meet you on twenty eight three six five. All right. Well, we need to wrap this up. Let's let's come to a right. conclusion about LED lighting in tiny homes. Wrap it up. Give us a conclusion. LED tape, three hundred LED fifty fifty tape for beds for reflectors. The ten watt. With the heat sink assembly for 750 for ceiling lamps, equivalent 60 watt. And these can just be used for decorations in all kind of you know jars and things like that hanging from the ceiling. What are you eating, Paul? Uh, pears. Take us out with some music, Bob. Take us out with some music. Oh, you had gener you can generate music, real music. Come on. <laughs> generate music. Okay, I'll generate some music. That'll be the day when Bob Nagy can't generate some music. Take us, take a wrap up this podcast. Make up, a, make up a song about LEDs, a folk song about LEDs. You will love LEDs when they come from Russia now. They are really hot when you touch with your finger, you get burned up right away. Oh, I just sent off the blue. It's in Russian. You can't understand it, but. You are dancing. My wife's dancing to your music. It's very nice, my friend. All right, let's do the band now. Let's do the LED band. Ready? LED, 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 LED. You got to do it with me. LED, LED. We're going to make LED great again. LED, LED. Come on, Bob. I've done it already, broski. Vladimir Putin will say it next. Watch. All right, that wraps up this edition of the LED podcast. That's right.